AMS 2140, negative averaging when machine is not running. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate negative averaging, also called bump testing, on a machine that is not running using the AMS 2140. In a separate tutorial, I will demonstrate the technique on a machine that is running. As we review this technique, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. I am going to show you how to collect data to determine the natural frequency of a machine that is not currently running. This is called negative averaging, or sometimes a bump test. Here you see the home screen of the AMS 2140. Select F7 Advanced Analyze and then F7 for more experts. On the screen, select F2 Bump Test Equipment Off. You will see some notes regarding the test you are about to run. From here, you can do two things. Either press Start or the Enter key to begin data collection, or select F1 Manual Analyze to modify the settings. First, we will use the default setting, so I will start data collection. Notice that the data collection has started, but the analyzer is now waiting for a trigger, or impact, to proceed. I will impact the machine using a rubber hammer. And now you can see on the spectrum that the data from the first impact has been captured. Notice that the analyzer will average six times and is now waiting for the second impact. Before I strike the machine again, take a look at this area of the waveform prior to the first impact. This area is called the pre-trigger percentage, and I will talk more about that later. Now, I will impact the machine another five times to complete the six averages. Press Enter to view the data. Here you see the impact in the waveform and the averaged spectrum below. This data can be stored in job mode by selecting F9 Store Data. To identify the natural frequencies, I can add a cursor to scroll over the peaks. The first natural frequency is 14 Hz. The second one is around 37 Hz. This tutorial was based on a template in the AMS 2140 and will work for many applications. However, there are two exceptions that may require you to customize the settings. Select F1 Setup Menu. Here you see that the pre-trigger setting is 10%, which you can change using F9. The important thing to notice here is the trigger level at 0.5 Gs. This means that after you start collecting data, the analyzer will be waiting to feel a vibration level higher than 0.5 Gs and will then consider that an impact. This is where the exceptions I mentioned come into play. The first exception occurs if there is already a lot of background vibration near the machine, and it is higher than 0.5 Gs. This will cause the analyzer to recognize a false trigger and store bad data. To correct this situation, simply select F9 Set Trigger, then F10 Set Trigger Level. In this example, I am changing to 2 Gs, which should be sufficient. The second exception to the default settings is just the opposite. The machine may have a very rigid structure and require significantly more force to impact the machine to 0.5 Gs. In this case, you may want to lower the trigger level using the same steps, but perhaps use 0.2 Gs as the trigger level. Other than these two exceptions, the default template should handle most of your applications. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com/ams2140. Thank you for watching.